So podcast interviews are better than books, in my opinion. Now, if we look at this issue, we can look at how a at least one hour podcast interview, one to two hours, um, is a lot quicker than a four to eight to 15 hour audio book. And if the interviewer is good, uh, you can get a lot of the value out of the content of the book and how to integrate the ideas and apply it to your life if the podcast interviewer is very good. So that's why I listen to a lot more podcasts than I do audio books. And there are some times where <clears throat> if a particular idea or uh, author or expert uh, is really spot on in the interview and is really in alignment with my goals that I will then go also do the book, but that's very rare. So, and I'm talking about nonfiction books and uh, it, some of the good podcasts, in my opinion, that interview these kinds of authors are the Rich Roll podcast, Joe Rogan, James Altucher, Tim Ferriss. So there's four for you to go check out. And it's just a great way to get exposure to nonfiction book authors. And if the interviewer is good, they will really kind of mine the value out of the book and the story of the author and help the listener, you, integrate the ideas into your life and get those benefits. So that's why I prefer to consume podcasts than audiobooks. <laughs>